Hi there, this is Andy Rowe on trendfollower.co.uk. It's Saturday the 11th of February 2017 and in this video I'm going to have a look at my weekly trend trading system using timing and see if I need to do anything uh, this coming week. So first of all let me just do a quick disclaimer. Of course I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just a regular person and this video is just about what I do. So take it as uh, information and entertainment as you will but uh, not as financial advice please. Um, okay so what I do is to divide my investment pot into five slices, uh, shares, property, gold, commodities and bonds and what I do is to use a very simple timing system to decide whether I want to be invested in that asset class or not. So when the price rises up above the moving average for the year, the MA52, then I invest and I hold the investment until the price drops below the MA52, the average for the year, at which point I sell the asset and turn the investment back into cash. And I stay in cash until the investment uh, asset class pops up above the MA52, at which point I reinvest. And this is great for trending systems, take advantage of trends and the idea is that I'll stay out um, of falls or significant falls in the price of that asset class. Great when things trend up and down, very bad when things trend sideways uh, and there are episodes where that happens in all asset classes. But let's have a look at the first asset class and see whether there's anything that I need to do today. So I'm going to look at the fund that I use to be invested in shares and you can see that the price here closed uh, up uh, from the week before so um, probably uh, I think it's a new high actually for uh, uh, for some time so um, it's well above the MA52 so uh, I'm going to remain invested uh, in shares through this particular fund so members of my uh, site will know what fund I use but uh, uh, essentially this is uh, a broad fund that gives me exposure to uh, some very good shares and uh, I'm going to stay invested. Property. Let's have a look at the price of property. So this is a UK uh, property investment graph that I'm following here and it was doing well uh, since the summer of 2015. This uh, particular uh, ETF has been falling and you can see it's been quite uh, up and down and sort of trending sideways through the latter half of uh, 2016 and into this year. Um, and this year, it's, this week, it's finished up compared to the week before, um, but hasn't gone up above the MA52. At one point, I thought it was going to close the week above the MA52 and trigger a buy signal, but it hasn't done so yet. So where is it going to go? At the moment, really, property seems to be tracking sideways. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me uh, if I get a, a signal to buy soon, but will that uh, be followed shortly afterwards by a signal to sell? Who knows? So at the moment there is no signal for me to buy, so that part of my investment is staying in cash. Okay, going to look at gold next and last week. Uh, uh, if you recall, I had a signal to buy gold. The price had closed up above the two-year moving average, the MA104, which is what I use for gold because gold's quite spiky and using a, a one-year moving average uh, tends to uh, get me in and out of the market too much. So um, I'm using the two-year moving average and the price has closed up above it uh, a week ago. So I, I had a signal to buy. So I bought gold um, last week and this week it's moved up a bit more. So uh, this trade is already in profit. So uh, that's great. So let's hope that the price of gold continues to rise. Commodities and the uh, the fund that I used to be exposed to commodities has been doing very well um, through the latter half of 2016 and into 2017 now it's doing well. This week it sort of went sideways a bit, uh, nothing changed very much so uh, good um, solid buy at the moment, still no signals to exit from the commodity uh, investment that I have there. So uh, nice and easy. Now bonds, I don't trend trade bonds because they uh, crisscross their moving average too much so regular viewers of this video will know that um, I have three bond investments, one denominated in British pounds, one denominated in euros and one denominated in US dollars. So I just hold those and don't trend trade them at all. So I don't even look at the graphs, but it just spreads my risk uh, across another uh, asset class as well. So um, what do I need to do this week? Well, let's have a look. So shares are a green light, so I'm staying invested. Property, again, stop, no signal for me to buy yet, nothing to do. Uh, gold, I had a signal last week to go uh, long gold to buy gold, so I've done that. Commodities are uh, still green light, staying uh, invested there. Bonds in my system, I always stay invested, so uh, that's a permanent green light. 
I don't have to do anything this week because nothing's changed. No new signals, no signals to buy, no signals to sell. I don't have to do anything. So very easy. So thanks for watching. I will make another video uh, next week and uh, tell you what I'm up to. If you haven't been to my website, please uh, do have a look. I'd love to see you there. Uh, www.trendfollower.co.uk. So that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.